hey guys welcome back in unreal engine videos and in this video inside hub show you how you can simply export your unreal engine project to your android i already show you that after export how it's look so let's learn that how you can simply export an unreal engine project for your android so first you may need to show that your project is support android content so what is android contents uh, let me show you if you open that unreal engine you find there's a give you two type of option when you going to create and for example i'm already create the project but for you i let me show you that how you need to do that i am for now i'm using unreal engine 4.25.4 then click on game next and then i just said the our uh, some standard content what unreal engine give for for here and for now I just said this vehicle click on next then you must need to set your desktop console to mobile table and make sure that your all internet content is not content because uh, some of asset take can can be take so much uh, larger for Android so make sure that you set non standard content then set the maximum quality to 3d and uh, always disable this retaking uh, okay the retaking mode just give you the best quality but it's only for pc because if you try to use this for mobile it's your game will look so much large and so much problem so i recommend to just disable this rechecking option i will create the project when you done the create your project you find like this and now you need to set up some basic things so for that go on your settings and project settings okay and you find like this option but before do that you must need something that uh, the SDK if you don't have this SDK that Unreal Engine need for exporting your Android so let me show you why you need that if you go your uh, engine and search here in the platform section uh, Android SDK you find this that SDK NDK JDK so if you think that if you if you don't have this so go my website I give the link in the description below and it's made by my friend hacker pro so don't worry guys and he give you all the things that uh, how you need that he give everything by step by step and it's by like 100% correct file so you don't need to worry about here you find that they, he give you SDK Android uh, SDK and Navida code word SDK both are same but it Android SDK is just uh, advanced okay you find this for Android 4.2 to 10 point SDK so you can use the download but the NDK of uh, Navida is smaller than Android Studio so you can download this one then you find the NDK R20D click this then you find APK and if you think that your Unreal Engine is so much old like I give here right also give in here that you can see if you need for if you want to export for a 4.22 4.23 so you must need this SDK but if you think you, you are using the last version of Unreal Engine which one right now this is uh, this one uh, 4.25 uh, 4.25.4 so you need this NVIDIA or Android Studio SDK NDK R20D and SDK uh, 18077 okay after doing installation all these things you need to go on your unreal engine and click on these three dots and while you save your files just go and pick when it's done you need to go on your android when it's android you first time you will be see that is uh, disable so you need to click on right mouse and it will be unable then you need to set an sdk accept sdk license if you think uh, if you are not click this so click maybe make sure that you click this one for after then clicking this thing if you see that it's like disable so it's meant you all the sdk indicates now correct for unreal engine so you can now easily export your game then make sure that you are you say this store version or the package name uh, sorry this case package name make sure that you set this package name and unique package name that no one have this package name make sure that you set like this or your project can be crashed after then make sure that package game data instead of apk what it will be do is after the installation the user not need to add the obb file uh, manually it automatically add the obb file of android automatically okay so make sure that you click this one and the others is uh, give default don't need to do anything like google platform or something if you think that you will uh, connect it with the service of google so you can do this or you can add google ad over here you can see i will make the videos later so here you can change the icons and others so for now we don't need anything more 
just click on save and make sure that your go project settings and make sure that your input is for mobile section here you can see mobile section uh, show touch interface enable uh, guest uh, resignation so enable these two things okay make sure uh, these two things are enabled then click on saved all saved all then click on files then click on package and android here when you click on android you find there's a give you some option that dxt etc astc astc is the lowest version but it give you the mini medium or a medium graphics look if you set etc to it will be give you some more higher if you set a dxt it's give you the most higher of the unreal engine graphics for android okay it is just so much large graphics so make sure that your game will be can be lagged so set in this the multiplayer so what will we do is it automatically depend and give the apk about what your android support so click on multiplayer astc dxt and etc then set where you want to save in my case i'm setting in the download folder and click on set and here you find the option that here you can see no any euro because we are doing everything properly and my pc is also some powerful so we don't need to wait anything more because if you use the unreal engine oldest version it takes so much time like half an hour or one hour but in unreal engine 4.25.4 it's taking so much less than time and it will be do whole thing and it's very fast here you can see all the debugging tasking is now turning with the server of jdk and the java set so our app will be built very fast here you can see package is complete it's mean that we have now successfully our apps so now here you can find the android multiplayer here you find the three kind of file that one is for uninstallation mr7 and installation of mr7 here you it is the, your apk let's just let's see the what is the size here for now you can see it's only 140 mb so it's not so much and uh, you can see bytes they give you also bytes that 1000 uh, not 1000 it's uh wow 147538 7, 0.78 oh my god however let's add in our android and let's see how it's look and guys don't forget to like share and subscribe <laughs>